All right. Any other any other teams that we want to talk about? Anything about PSG Talon? I feel like PSG Talon is is playing well. Like Hanabi has been super good. I also think that they're the recipients of Hanwa kind of sucking and Fnatic not having a full roster, so it doesn't feel like it's entirely legit. Yep, but uh, I mean, I'm just glad that they're doing better than Hanwa, right? So um, yeah. no, I mean, I mean, like four four it's LPL. Deserved. Four LPL and four LCK teams in the quarterfinals would yes. even challenge my interest in League of Legends, and I love League of Legends a lot. I mean, uh, the joke is, if you actually know, <laughs> again, I'll reference StarCraft 2. In StarCraft 2, it got so bad at one point, Peter, with Koreans winning everything, that Western fans even just started cheering for, like, Chinese players and stuff, or people from, like, South Korea. <laughs> just going, well, as long as they're not Korean. So that's the joke. If the playoff bracket is just LCK and LPL, but PC PSG makes it in, Every Western fan, you have to just basically just support PSG. Tell them that. Point. Exactly. <laughs> okay, that's what I would say. Logically, you have, to, you have to go for it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I believe exactly. If, if if Maple and Hanabi can do it, then yes, then, there we go. Then Jizuke and Impact can do it. There you go. And by the way, I'm just going to say it right now, just based on historical context. Please, if there's a way, it probably isn't because they're going to fall finish second. I just want to see Maple against Faker in a best of five. Because here's what people don't know: Maple had over his career winning record against Korean teams. Yeah, that's pretty fucking gangster. His entire career, it's like fourteen and ten or something. I think was the stat someone said. Yep. I didn't. I didn't know this either. But Faker's only ever lost one game to an NA team, which was CLG. He lost a oh, single yes, game in his entire career. Yeah. He has. He's Holy. he's like fifteen and one against NA teams, which is pretty nuts. So 100 Thieves has a chance to to get the the number two. I mean, his con <laughs> his Faker's contract's running out at the end of this year, right? So it's, it, look, let's be real. <laughs> Faker's contract is never running out. Like, <laughs> at all. It, he's he's too he's too critical to the T1 brand. That if he were to leave T1, uh, I mean, that, that's just not going to Dude, happen. the Korean government will do their own fucked <laughs> thing. They'll be like, we will not allow Faker to leave Korea. We are placing restrictions on Faker distribution around the world. Like, they, they won't let him go. I don't he, think they will want to. He, he also has equity in T1 that he would have to give up if he went to another team. That's why, you know, as much as I had hoped that Bjergsen okay. might actually go to some other team, he would have to sell his equity within TSM. Here's what they should do, Monty. I figured it out. It's called equity swap. What you do is Bjergsen and Faker trade equity and go to opposite teams. <laughs> That's actually fine. That's amazing. Uh, look, I can't Five handle three. TSM Faker. That would be that would be a nightmare scenario. <laughs> for me. I mean, yeah, that would be the definition of the sacred in the profane. <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah. TSM can't yeah. des desecrate Faker's career like that. Exactly. That would be too I mean, tragic. If, no, I just don't want to see the TSM Legends episode where Reggie comes in and starts fucking unloading on Faker, for God's sake. The idea that could ever happen. That could be a reality in that scenario, Monty. And Faker's just sat there with the interpreter going. And then he's just going, yeah, Reggie's saying your build was all wrong. And he would have CS differently on Cassio. <laughs> like, I just, I, normally, I love those TSM Legends episodes where he does that. I would be hating that. I would be like, fuck, get this guy off the screen. Please, please someone please save Faker. I've become like those K-pop stands. Like, we must protect Faker. <laughs> if, 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 Reggie. if Ronaldinho can go and get a payday at the end of his career. That's you know. true. That, that would be the really dark time is if it was like <laughs> the football where at the end you just go to China or whatever, you know. I, whatever. The, the, thing yeah. though, the thing though is that that will never happen because T1 is owned by Comcast now. So he has, Com like there's no way he goes anywhere because T1 can pay him more than anyone else as well, right? Yeah. He's core to the brand. He's got the equity. <laughs> he's, in, he's in for the long haul, guys. Like his, his contract may be over, but you know, that would be the most shocking move of all time. And there's no way you get rid of him on this roster, especially when they make worlds again. And at least they're looking pretty good right now. How many people would say perks after worlds last year that perks would be on C9? Look, <laughs> okay, I'm that's, stop teasing that's, that's, that is different <laughs> because G2 doesn't have unlimited money. So selling perks for $5 million looks good. There's no universe where Comcast is like, yeah, we should sell the face of League of Legends and our brand for five million dollars to <laughs> a Chinese team. Like that's not yeah. that's never ever ever sure. going to happen. And Perks, as far as I, I am aware, never had any like ownership stake within G2 either, which he probably should. Like, given what he did for that team, it you know, that's a that's a huge mistake on his part to not have have an agent or himself have bartered for that because he he would have gotten it at some point in time. He was the the core sure. core player on that team. 
Want to see more cool, funny, interesting clips based on topics from my content? Well, subscribe to this channel then, or, you know, be a pleb and don't.